Hey, Mike here, MichaelPitlock.com, and we are now in video 10 of building a sales page from scratch. This is becoming a much longer project than I thought, but that's okay, just how it works out. And I've got to get it done because this is a uh, live page building and it is going to be a live page on my website. It's going to be an actual sales page. Um, and so I want to get the details right. And that's most of the time where um, we're going to get bogged down. And uh, I wouldn't say waste time, but that's where a lot of the time is spent is, is getting the details right. Okay, so we are building the page from scratch using Thrive Architect. If you're interested in the Thrive Themes products like Thrive Architect or Thrive Leads, which is a lead generation plugin, then I do have a link in the description that you can go through to check out their products. It is an affiliate link, so I would appreciate if you go through that link. Uh, what we have so far is all this good stuff, the solution, co um, the hero part of the course, the problem copy, the solution copy, a little bit of a story and background on how I learned and how that kind of led me to create a course, some testimonials, some student results, um, and then uh, what you get, right? So now people are pumped because they, they know what the solutions to their problems are. They've seen it work for other people like me or uh, other students of mine. I guess you could say I'm a student of mine, but, and then, uh, and so now we're going to get into the, the features, right? Like what is actually inside the course. So, uh, the modules, and then we have uh, a breakdown, full breakdown of the modules and the syllabus, some extra things that you're going to learn. Um, and then we get bonuses, right? We get, uh, another course and some, uh, Ableton templates. We get another course, we get another course, we get another course, and now it's time to, um, create the pricing table and I hope I get to it but there was one thing that I wanted to take care of from last video and that was fixing the course content page for the uh, one of the bonus courses um, I cleaned it up a little bit and made it more uniform uniform is a theme that keeps popping up so when I come over to these toggles which allows you to kind of expand it and look inside a course uh, we need to fix this and we have these videos and we have the simple description of what um, is going on. And so I might need to fix these toggles too, but let's go to where I was uh, really looking. And that is going to be this toggle box. You can see what I've done is I've underlined and bolded some of these words here, but I'm thinking I want to actually move the keywords to the front of the bullet point because I've heard that um, the first two words are the most important in the bullet point. And that's true because that's where you're looking. You're looking in the front. If you see important words, then you'll continue reading. But if it doesn't capture your attention, then it doesn't. We build, we start, we start, we find, eh, nothing, nothing great, okay? So what we'll do is maybe um, analyze. Okay, so let's uh, collect all bold, underline, okay. We analyze Salardo's on the corner from for some direction. What's that? Okay. Okay. Just trying to fit this all in one line. There we go. Drums. All right. Basic beat. We build and process the basic beat percussion in layers, maybe? Drums, okay, so bass. Pr 
program the base patch. Right, so see how that's video analyze, video drums, video bass. We work Shit. So. Um. So what I need to do is come to some Melamedia Tech House system and this is a sales page, search Salardo and keep going. There we go. And then let's see how long the, see, look at this. Look at how horrible that looks, right? We're making some major improvements to this. No one wants to read this. They look at this and they're like, they're like, hell no. Okay. So 1024. So that's that. But this is way more digestible. There. Vocal. Very clear on what's going on. Right, analyze, drums, break, vocal, like these are all things that exactly what we go over, but it's the clearest way to present exactly what's going wrong going on. Let's do Oh shit. Okay. Okay.
Cool, see? Something like that. Then, like, if someone's... Okay, here, let's do this. If I bring over... If I come over to... Okay, so here we have this versus this. I don't know. That's kind of like no thanks. The only thing that I wish that this had was numbers. So it'd be really cool if the video icons here had numbers inside of them. So if it was like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, that would really help because then it would connect back to the 12 videos idea. And so for whatever reason, I feel like people would want to know climax and like, oh, what video number is that? And then they have to count, you know, um, because that would that's what they would be interested in. Someone could buy a course just because of one of the videos, right? So for example, the ear candy, but they want to know what video is that it is in that course. And so uh, I'm just curious, that would be super cool if I could create my own icons. But let's see. Yeah, so, so there, there isn't numbers. Are, are there anything with numbers? Like even circles with numbers in it would might might even work. It doesn't look like it, but that's okay. Whatever. All right. So that's that. And now what we need to do is get to the pricing table section. And I might again change the actual um, mo the um, this guy too. All right, but we'll see. <clears throat> okay, it makes it very clear. I like that clarity. Right? It just removes any friction. So uh, with the pricing table. What we need is a content box. Um, and then this is going to be, are you? Are you ready to get started? And that's going to be huge. So 64. Bold. And we will uh, center align this. Let's check out some uh, other pages uh, for the checkout section really quick. So so ready to get started. So there's not really a um, pricing table here. I know, for example, someone else uses a pricing table a lot so so I'm running let's see this is kind of a, this a similar style to the course that I'm uh, working on Okay, so see, as you can see, they ha there's three different uh, pricing structures here. So get instant access. That's something else that's often used. But it's simple, right? You get instant access, and then you have the pricing structure. You have the enroll now. Um, I prefer to put the pricing down at the bottom because this whole thing is supposed to be the value stack that, that creates that perceived value so that when the price is revealed, it's... Um, you know, more impactful. It doesn't seem like as much money because you're getting so much value for not um, not that big of a price tag. Um, but okay. And then after the pricing table, you can see here we have a money back guarantee. This is an interesting thing to have here for our ultimate. That uh, seems a little bit out of place. Um, but I guess the reason why they have that is because people will be like, well, what's this? And then 
and then so that's the next thing. So then uh, here we have a guarantee, some more testimonials, FAQ, exactly what we're uh, gonna do. And then the footer, I'm gonna put another uh, button down here at the bottom because then uh, in order to get back to the pricing table, someone has to scroll up. But if I have the FAQ, they go through it, and then um, they're like, okay, I'm ready to go. I want to have a button there ready for them at where they are. Okay. And so um, I'm going to put a button there. So cool. Let's jump back. So I have, are you ready to get started? And so what we'll do actually is let's copy the this format. So this is a darker color, so I'm going to just try something really quick. I keep on wanting to jump this down, so if we go to 85, 80. Okay, we really got to test it out on this guy. So if we jump this down to 80... Eighty-five, maybe. Okay, it makes it a little bit clearer. I just want Ableton in the background to poke a little bit more through. Eighty-five. Poke through a little bit more would be a better way to say that. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and copy this. And we'll move it down to the bottom. All right, and we are going to finish the pricing table. That is what we're going to do. Okay, we can get rid of this. And then um, let's get rid of... Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, let's make sure everything's okay. And then, um, what's the um, padding on this? So we have 75 at the top. Let's put, let's make these both 100. So 100, 100. Okay, ready to get started. And then, bam, what we'll do is get, what's this? Is this in a, okay. So let's get a uh, pricing table. Background section. Bam. Okay, let's put this in a content box because I prefer to control the width for whatever reason with a content box. So I'm going to grab the pricing table. We're going to drag it into the content box. And we'll go to the content box here, and we will get rid of... Nope, nope, not that content box. So we want the whole content box. So we'll get rid of all the margin and padding on there. So just looking to see how, like, a nice size for them. So we'll put this in the middle. Okay, that kind of looks good, doesn't it? Nice. Okay, so what we need to do is... So this is going to be the course level. This will be the um, uh, suite level. And this is going to be the um, access level. The price here is going to be 97. The price here is going to be 147. And we don't need the per month. And this is going to be 495. And then we need to change the pop color and I think I don't think that there's a way to change it at the top level. 
although that would been, be smart and it's usually something that Thrive would do. But what we can instead do is just go to uh, change the colors directly. So we need the pop color. And so what we're going to do is um, get the pop colors. FF, what is it? I always forget. So it's FF9900. So we'll come here. We'll go to the borders and corners. So FF9900. And then the sweet level here, this text needs to be a different color. So FF. And then this button needs to be a different color. Style options, main options, FF. Okay. Okay, so that's a really weird. So another thing I'll do now is go to the color hex. And so when someone hovers over the button, I just want them to go to a slightly darker shade. So I'm just going to select the shade here, the next darker shade. And we'll come over here and <clears throat> I'm going to um, come to the hover state. And we're going to change the hover state color to that darker shade, just like that. We'll come back over to the normal state. We'll hit save. So now when I hover, it should go to the darker state. Just barely, right? You see that? Okay, cool. So this should also say enroll now. <clears throat> Bold. Okay. Maybe I can make this a lighter color. The reason why is because this pop color isn't really popping. So if I just lighten the background a little bit, um, it might make that orange pop out a little bit more. So we'll try this one. I think we're using the B2. Let's just double check. So if I jump over here to the background style, what is the color? It's the B2. So if I just change this, it'll get lighter. What if we choose the lightest just before white? So this guy. Let's see. Um, okay. We'll think about it. So I'm going to chart start changing the size of this. So, so this can be 32. This can be 32. This can be 32. Um, let's see. So... <sighs> If I go to my, I've created a lot of tables before. So my zermelomusic.com slash underground. Let's see what the pricing table for this is. So one payment, instant access. Okay, so that's install payments. Ooh, see here we have the $97 price tag, but Again, what I might want to do instead is put it down here. So let's get rid of the borders in, on this. Let's just change this to three. Let's go to main options. Okay, let's do enroll now and then 97. And for this guy, what I want to do is... Let's do the same thing. So let's get rid of the borders. So we'll do three and we'll do medium. Enroll now 
147. Let's um, go to some pages here. And I'm going to go to pages. And we'll search by SP sales pages. Because I know I have, I created a big pricing table one time. So Black Friday courses, mixing. Um, House production system. Okay. It's probably one of these pages. So if we go to preview. Okay, not that one. Let's preview this one. Here we go. So this is a copy of the Kajabi page. But I know I created a page one time that had a lot of pricing tables. Let's check to see how this is. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Here's what you get. One. That's pretty clean. It's a lot of design, though. Okay, those uh, down things are stupid. More testimonial. So pretty much like that. Okay, so let's see. Let's make, let's make the button bigger. Maybe we'll do five pixels. Nah, let's do three. So in another thing is I want to change these to a different style. So if I come to the ghost button style, so okay, apply, and then let's come to the borders. We'll drop it down to three. And then we will um, change the uh, colors, right? So FF, okay, and then the typography. So, FF9900, apply. So maybe we can increase the border a little bit to three pixels. No, that's way too thick. So we'll drop that down to two pixels. Okay, that's a little bit better. So this is how big? Um, 20. So we'll do one payment. One payment. Uh, 
All right, so what I want to do now is... Um, What we need to do is actually work on this one first because it has the most stuff. So what we'll do is, uh, so we need to have start to finish. Pause. Oh, wait. Start to finish pause, start to finish Salardo. And then we have um, Jello Ableton template. And so we're gonna start putting in the values here too. So Jello Ableton template is how much? 29, $29 value. Okay, and then this start to finish pause style, that is a $47 value. $97 value. Um, so this is um, kick drum mastery? No. Secrets of the Groove. This is a $47 value. We have We have a kick drum mastery, which is a $29 value. And we have, why is it not creating a new line? There we go, kick drum mastery. We have uh, deconstructions and breakdowns, which is a $97 value. We also have, let's do, um, Maybe we'll skip the access level for now. So we'll just focus on the two the two pricing tiers for now. So let's let's go to the content box. Bring this in. Just kind of eyeball it. So 1,000, I guess. Course level, suite level. So. Jello. Jello Ableton template synthetic. We have kick drum mastery secrets. Secrets of the groove kick drum mastery. And we have um, deconstructions. 
and break downs. Okay, this is 97. This is 47. This is um, 29, 29, this is 47, this is 29, and this is 97. So we'll come over here to the style list and we'll get rid of um, these other ones down here. Okay. So next thing we'll do is we'll bump up the text size here because that's really small. Oh, we didn't write value. So let's write value. Okay, and then we will change the text to black. We'll change these little guys up to um, size 18. And we'll change them to a green color um, right here. Actually, we have a green color on the page, don't we? So let's get that one. This one. What is that color? So 339933. So, go oh, three, three. Okay. Actually. All right. So let's just check out the And then what I'm going to do is um, go to the styled list and we'll duplicate it. And I'm going to drop it below here. And we'll get rid of this styled list. All right, so one thing we could figure out why this one's supposed to be higher, but at the same time, it should be longer too. Um, but the thing is, I'm going to have these, I'm going to have both of these on the same side. Like I'm going to have these the same length. The reason why this one would be longer is because you'd include more things. But what I'm going to do is X out, um, these guys. So, um, what we need to do is I'm going to take this list element, list item, that one. And I'm going to ungroup it. Okay, so hopefully when I change this icon to gray. Damn. Okay, so we need to ungroup just this guy. So he needs to be then I think it was nine nine three three nine nine. Is that what it was? Or 
maybe a, okay. Oh, that's a cool color. So it's the other way around. Three three nine nine three three. And then um, these guys, I'm gonna change to the gray as well. Okay. But this right here needs to be a different color. This one's gonna be black. Okay, so black. Okay, awesome. And all of these need to have the strike through. Strike through. Strike through. Because they are not included. Okay. All right. So let's again figure out what is going on. So with this column, there might just be some kind of um, layout and position going on. Going on. Okay. Let's check out the content box. So we have twenty um, pixels of margin up there. What about on this? We have zero pixels of margin. So. Let's just come over here and get rid of this, and it should pop them up to the same line. Okay, it did, but why now? I think it's because of the button size. So as you can see, this button is bigger than this one. So if we come to this button and make it, I think it was the medium size. Now we have... Oh, and now we see that... This one is a little bit longer because of the border around the button. So everything else is the same. It's just that, that we have a border around this one. So what we could do is just put a border around that one, right? So if I come over to the button and we come to borders and corners, you'll see we have a two pixel border with that orange color. So let's do the same thing. So I think it's FF9900. So FF9900. Let's do 100% opacity there. Uh, apply. And we need to do two pixels. So now you can see they're the exact same size. All right. Oh, that's kind of cool because when you hover over it, you you can see the border there. Okay, and then so for this guy, what I want to do is change the hover settings. So let's go to hover. Okay, good. And always check to make sure you're actually editing the button because sometimes you'll accidentally hover over the text. So let's make the right changes. So if we come here, we need to... Um, change this to the darker color. So if we come here and we're going to copy this color right here. So we'll apply that. And then the typography. We're going to change this as well to the darker color. The border we need to change to a darker color. And save that actually with the main options we don't want it to have any color right okay so let's Okay, so just gets a little bit darker, you can see. So I just kind of want to preview this because it's hard to see when you when the little green boxes keep popping up. So if I just preview real quick, you can see what this kind of looks like. All right, and then what we'll do is we'll finish up here because we're almost done with this. Uh, there's a couple, uh, there's like a, some text I want to add to the boxes, but then what we'll do is we'll also link everything to it. So, so you can see it just turns a little bit darker. Same with this, it turns a little bit darker. Oh, there's a little bit of a shadow under that one too.
Okay, cool. So let's um I want to go to some other sales pages. When we come down here, are you ready? Ooh, that's right. We have some things we need to add. Okay. So let's come to this styled list. We need to add one lifetime. Okay, let's see. We need to add lifetime. Let's see, life. Okay, six. Okay, so we need to add all of this. Just the lifetime access plus lifetime updates and 60 day money back guarantee. So lifetime access. Plus a lifetime. Lifetime access plus updates for life. It's fine. And then so um, then let's add another one. So let's come to the style list and we'll add new. And we'll also have 60 day. Sometimes it's, I know it's proper to put hyphens in there but I don't like the way they look sometimes. All right, so lifetime, uh, this we need to un whatever, and we'll change this to black. Same with this, we're gonna uh, unlink, change to black. And this one we're gonna unlink and change to green. I like that green better. So this one we're going to unlink and change to green. This one will change to that green as well. It's a, to me, it's a, a happier green, you could say. Okay, so what we need to do is basically do the same thing over here. Come on. Nice. Lifetime access plus updates. 60 day. All right, and I think we can get rid of this icon. Don't need the icon. Okay, and let's change this to a different color. Okay, a little darker. And we'll change this to black. Change this to the nines and maybe we'll change this to black as well. So there we go. Just thinking, um, how, how long is this? Just thinking about this button. 
Okay, well, well, definitely what I need to do while I'm thinking about that button is add in a little bit of text above this. So it'd be like join over uh, 704 plus producers now. So it's 20. What size font is this? 24. Let's jump this up to 24 as well. And then what we could do is uh One thing I'm not happy with is that the value isn't really clear. So what I'm thinking about doing is um, what did I do over here? It just doesn't stand out. See, like that stands out a little bit, just that little thing. But the parentheses, like when I'm reading a book and there's things in parentheses, usually I skip over it, right? It's a parenthetical thing. And so mm, I think what I'll do is, is change it to this format. See how it's, to me, it stands out a little bit more. So it's going to look kind of awkward with the um, the strike fo um, formatting on the other uh, thing, but whatever. We'll see what it looks like when we get to it. And then, so then maybe what we can do is maybe change the color. What does that do? Maybe we would need to change the color of the bar too. I kind of like the way that looks. Let's see what it looks like across the whole thing. How's that looking so far? It's cleaner, isn't it? Way cleaner. So. I like it. Hmm. Okay. So now I think uh, the question is, what's the fastest way to make this happen? And um, so what this is going to be get. Um, get, okay, so let's, uh, hey, Google, what is 47 plus 29 plus 29 plus 47 plus 29 plus 97? The answer is 
you know what? Instead, we should write total value. Hey, Siri, what's 278 plus 97? 278 plus 97 is 375. Hey, what's... Hey, Siri, what's 375 minus 147? What is 375 minus 147? I could totally do this in my head, but whatever. Hey Siri, what is 147 divided by 347? 147 divided by 347 is about 0 0.4236. <laughs> So look at this. So if we look at the padding on the inside of the content box here, so 59. What are these random freaking, let's just go to 60. It's going to just bother me. And we have, let's jump this up to 40. Maybe 60. And we'll put, maybe what we'll do is, What happens if we make the buttons bigger and give them more space? <laughs> 60.
contrast, I think, is what's going wrong. That looks better. All right. So now what we'll do is um, come to the styled list. We'll duplicate it again. Move it over. <laughs> cool. And then so um, basically what we need to do is make all these gray. Okay, and we need to make the text gray as well. Okay, and then we need to uh, isolate specific ones, right? So this is going to be black, and this is going to be green. And then this one we need to uh, unlink. It's going to be black text, and the thing is going to be, the check mark's going to be green. Same with this. This is going to be black. Oh, nope, nope, cancel. Whoo! We need to unlink, unlink, black, green. Unlink, green. Okay, nice. And then these guys... Oh man, it won't let me do the strike through. It won't let me do the fast key for strike through, which I think is Shift Command S. Shift Command S is uh, a save shortcut here. Jesus. Okay. Okay. Cursor, select all, strike through. 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 Okay, cool. So the um, last thing we need to do is add a little um, template below. Uh, second to last thing is we need to add a little. So I want to make sure that this template. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, let's get rid of this. So let's put um, template below the content box. There we go. Okay, so we need the... So I'm looking for my little credit card guys. My little credit card template. Here. 
here it is. And what do I usually say here? So this is nice. We're going to um, we're going to edit this, and I'm just going to save this as an element. So let's come over to this page, and I'm just going to save and preview. So that way, when I reload it or when I re-edit it, I'll be able to access the new template that I'm saving. So if I come down to here, let me let me see what this looks like on mobile. Ah, I got rid of it. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is get out of here. So one of the pages that I spent a lot of time working on was a Black Friday page. And let's, uh, it was the, so this is New Year's, we want a Black Friday production system. Okay, so let's preview this. And this is the page we're working on. So let's come down to the... Huh. No, I need the package deal page. Yeah, Black Friday, this one. This one. This is the page. You know what? You know what, I think what I'm going to do here is, um, save this whole bottom section. I just got to throw it in a content box, but everything below the pricing table, I'm thinking about the background section, I'm thinking everything below the background section can be in a gray. Let me see what this, what's going on with this. So this is a background section. So let's save this. Um, this is another background section. Okay, what if we, What are, is this in a content box? This is another background section. So what if we moved this here? Okay, so let's get rid of this background section. And let's get rid, what if we moved, okay, let's see if there's, there is not a content box around this. Let's get a content box here. And we will move this in here. And we will move this testimonial in here. And what we need to do is let's check out the content box layout position. So we have some padding. Let's get rid of that padding. And then uh, it looks like the, this container is contained somehow. So let's come. So we have an 1100. Let's bring that down to 1000. And let's go to layout and position. Um, let's go to the content box and make the content box actually 1,000. Okay. And then we will make sure that the position is in the center. And then we will take this content box and we will move it below the toggle here. Okay. So the one problem with that, which is fine, is that Obviously, we have a problem with the content width. So what we'll do is we'll come to the background section and and this is something that I used to do where I would control the width with the background section, but I don't want to do that. I want to control the width using the, let's do pixel 100%. Okay, and so instead, let's use the content box to control the width. So it looks like that's mostly what's going on. So if I come to layout and position, we'll see this is 600 in the middle. Okay. And then what we could do here with this content box, content box. I'm 
So let's move this below the content box if we can. Okay, it's not going to let me. That's fine. So what I'll do is I will um, select this content box and duplicate it. It's just a workaround. And then let's go ahead and delete the um, this content box inside of it. All right. And so now we have, uh, let's delete the text and we'll delete the toggle. So now we have independent control over this content box. Right? So what we'll do is bump this up to 1000. There we go. So we have a content box here and then the bigger content box. So uh, here what we could do is um, take this text and move it below the content box and move this below the text. And I'm just trying to get rid of a, a superfluous content box here. Let's see if I manage to do it. So here we should just have one content box. Perfect. So content box, content box, background section. So this background section. So let's go ahead and um, save this. So this template name is going to be, um, let's do a package deal um, guarantee and FAQ save and I also want to save this little guy right here so is this in a content nice so this is all in a content box so we'll do save this and this is going to be um, actually, what I want to do really quick is check this because I know I fixed before there was some weird funky things going on with this where if I switched to mobile, it wouldn't look right, but I fixed that. So uh, good. So let's go ahead and save this. And this is going to be, um, um, I don't know, safety. One, one million. Again, doing weird things because I'm just going to remember this as I move over to this page. Cool. So what we need to do is get rid of this one. So columns, let's get rid of this. And we'll bring in a template below here. And let's just go to the bottom here and bring this in. Cool. And then with these, we need to change the image effect. And we'll do the grayscale. There we go. Cool, something like that. And then maybe what we could do is just shrink the content box down a little bit. So we'll do 700 and we will center it. Another thing is let's make sure all the images are the same size. So 130, 
130. 130. This one is 200. Okay, and this needs to be black because it's too hard to read otherwise. Okay, it doesn't want to be black apparently. It's fine. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's make it orange. Okay. Now let's make it black. There we go. Okay. Nice. So that is the pricing table. What we need to do now is I'm going to change the HTML attributes to create the jump links. So this is going to be pricing uh, I'm curious to see what they use as the uh, the jump link so for example if I click on enroll now oh wow oh I see that's because there's only one tier to this so let's see if I jump over for example, EDM, this one's going to have different tier levels. So if I jump to enroll, ah, that's exactly what I was going to do. Okay, that's funny. Um, so I'm just going to change this to pricing. Okay. It doesn't really matter. Who? I don't even know why I care. But now what we're going to do is come back to this, for example. Okay. Let's, okay, come on. Okay, so now we'll go to the main button options and we'll do, oh, geez, dude, what's going on? Um, hashtag pricing. Save. So I don't know what this smooth animation is. Let's save this. So the target is text, that's right, because the target is the uh, title for the... So I'm going to go to the preview here. And if, what is smooth animation? As opposed to unsmooth. So let's save work and wait till we get the save notification. Save. Okay. So let's come here. We'll refresh the page. Let's go back to the top and hit and roll now. Okay. So it's just faster. So we don't need the smooth animation. We want people to get right to the point because that's what they want to do. So um, let's also change this button here. And this is going to be um, what we're going to do instead is duplicate this because I'm not sure what's going on with that white that that white um, hover effect on this button. So let's just get rid of it. So with this, oh, and we get to copy the um, setting. So I think uh, I'll just keep on duplicating this button here. Although the 
Although the only problem is that the design is going to, the padding and stuff is going to change. So uh, I'll skip that. What I'll do now, let me make sure the hover effect works good. So this is going to be hashtag pricing. And we'll save. So uh, smooth, and a smooth animation, no target text. That's correct. Okay, so same with this. We'll change this to hashtag pricing. Save. I want to save after every single one of these. Okay, we'll scroll down. Okay. This one. Hashtag pricing. Save. We've only just begun. Bonuses. <laughs> okay. And so here are all the bonuses. Are you ready to get started? And then so this is the element that we jump to. So when it said the, the target, the jump target or whatever, this is the target because I... Uh, I applied the ID tag to this text element. And the reason why is because sometimes when you jump to the top of something, it just looks weird. Um, anyway, for example, like it gives you a little bit of margin for, let me refresh the page and kind of show you what I mean. But if I hit enroll now, you'll see there's a little bit of spacing above the target. Okay, and so if I was going to put the target as the actual section, because that would seem to make sense, right? So this whole section is a target. But if I made the tar the whole section the target, then it would actually look kind of like this when it jumped to that. So you, ha you would have that uh, little space right here. And that little space is annoying. Okay, I don't want that space. But if I jump to the text, for example, then I'm going to get uh, just a clean screen. You see that? Super clean. So um, that's great. Okay, I'm wondering something here. So you can see that I think and there's these shadows that are applied. So let's go to borders. What I'm thinking about doing is doing this hover effect on the. So this top border, I think it was six pixels. What if we did 10 and then made it black? Okay. So going back to earlier, we have white boxes with the little border on top. And now we also have the, the nines as the border. Um, but. So let's do the shadow again here. We'll make it subtle like all the other ones. So 20. And what I'm thinking about doing is actually just putting a shadow on the hover effect. But for now, I'm just testing this other idea. Okay, so there's that. And then with the suite, we need to do the same thing. Let's uh, adjust the drop shadow here. Let's make, ooh, opacity is 15. Interesting. So they're making it subtle too. And then we want the distance to be zero here. You know what? We need to just start from scratch. So let's go here and 20 apply and apply just like that. Let's see. What, okay. So that looks clean. What we need to do now is add the border to this guy. So um, let's see. So we'll do none. We'll do a... F um, We'll do um, the nines, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then that top border needs to be the FF9900. FF9, oh, that's not an F. FF9900. And that needs to be 10 pixels. Save. Okay. So my idea was to maybe instead have course levels is so much easier to read so maybe what i'll do is i'm going to have this 
black as well. Okay, and what if I, let's duplicate this, move it over here. Okay, let's undo that. Jesus. And let's move this button over here. Let's move this button. God. And then we'll get rid of this button. Let's do 97. And we'll do um, the gray. Let's try the gray. Okay, and what we'll do for both buttons is get rid of the border. So we'll have no border, and on this one, we will have no border. Save. That looks better. I'm just trying to get this one to pop. So another thing maybe we could do is add an icon to the um, button. So if we go to main options, add icon, it's going to be on the right hand side. And then it's just going to be a simple icon here. So let's go to, let's type in right. And I just want to do something like this. Same thing with this maybe. So button. And we'll do add icon, right? And we'll click on the icon and we will come to here. We'll change this and we'll go right. Does that add anything? Adds a little bit of motion, adds a little bit of a, a sense of motion to it. And without it, that looks cleaner to me. That looks cleaner. So we'll go with that. Always about the cleanliness. We don't need the RU. Ready to get started? Nice and punchy. Maybe what we could do too is make these feel like they're in a little bit more of a container. So if we come to the borders, come to the bottom here, let's do black, apply, we'll do 10 pixels. And same with this. So we'll go to the bottom, we'll do 10 pixels, and we'll change it to... See what that does. No, that takes away from the button. So we're going to undo that. So we'll go to the bottom. We'll go one. And we'll change this back to the nines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Bam. And then we'll come over here. Um, we'll go to the bottom border. Change that to one. And we'll change the color to the nines. One, two, three, four, five, six. Apply. Save work. Okay. All right. There we go. Pricing table is done. I think we connected all of the 
things to it, all the jump links. We're going to have to do another one down below. But that's going to be it for this video. We are building a sales page from scratch, totally from scratch, using Thrive Architect. If you're interested in the Thrive Themes products, I have a link in the video description. So if you're interested, go through that link. I would appreciate it because it is an affiliate link. But uh, I hope you're enjoying this series. It takes uh, a lot of time, but it's all, I'm just trying to get, it takes a lot of time because I just want to get the details right. And who knows if the details make any difference. But at the end of the day, I guess you got to make yourself happy too. Uh, but okay, so thanks for watching this video. In the next video, we're going to get uh, into all the stuff below the pricing table, which is the guarantee, more testimonials, the FAQ, and um, just another jump link back to the pricing table. All right, I'll see you in that video. Thanks for watching. Peace.